what is up you guys? I hope y'all been partying like every day is your birthday because we got another one for y'all today. We have when MMA fighters lose control. So I already know this is going to be a great one. I, I hope to hear some, I'm saying top tier trash talk. I need some, hold on, my fan, it is hot y'all in my room. But I need some top tier trash talk. I'm looking for top tier, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what I'm saying, but I'm looking for top tier whatever it is. I need some fights. I need some rub, rub, rumble, wrestling, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, please make sure y'all like and subscribe and join the crew on the road to 1.6K for y'all. And uh, let's get right to it, man. Don't you ever talk about my mom. Don't you ever talk about my mom. I want to get in the middle. Like, whatever you want. What do you say about your mama? Out of you right now. Don't you ever talk about my mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's good? Oh, oh, and I'm with what? We gonna start off the video like that? Oh my gosh. The boy beat, you know what I'm saying? He said, what you gonna do? I hit you in the face too. He said, fluff you and your mama. Ever talk about my mom. Yeah, Ever yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? Beat. MMA is undoubtedly one of the most physically and mentally yes, demanding sports in the world. Fighters need to be extremely dedicated and mentally strong in order to succeed at the highest level. No fighter wants to let an opponent get in the way of their success. And because of this, they can get very emotional during the events leading up to a fight. Unfortunately, some fighters let these emotions get the better of them. Yes, sir, Connor! <laughs> I'm Joe MMA195, and today we'll be looking at five times that MMA fighters lost control. <laughs> Number five, the John Jones versus Daniel Cormier brawl. This is my life, and I'm willing to die to beat you. Because as I've said many times, you don't deserve this. I will die to beat you on April 23rd. All right. Be prepared to do that. Jones and Cormier had one of the most heated feuds in MMA history. Before their first fight was announced, the two already had a bit of a rivalry and had been going back and forth on Twitter for some time. But after their fight was announced, their rivalry took a turn for the worst like during it, a media though. event where Jones and Cormier got into a brawl. The brawl was started during their very first stare down when Jones aggressively placed his forehead against Cormier's to which Cormier responded by shoving Jones. A fight then ensued Let as me Jones see. shoved UFC executive Dave Schuler to the ground while trying to get <laughs> to Cormier. No! Camera! Oh my god, why the fuck? Does this guy have to be the one recording it, bro? Literally got none of the action after. Everybody. Oh my gosh. Why is it always the most interesting things that I want to see are the ones that never get recorded, man? It's always the stuff I nobody wants to see that gets recorded. Look. How you missed this? The brawl was quickly broken up, but as the fighters were being pulled away by security, Cormier attempted to get one last shot at Jones as Cormier pulled off his shoe and threw it across the room. However, the shoe ended up once and hitting one of the media people in the crowd. Number four, <laughs> the Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz bottle throwing incident. This better be a better recording, bro. You'll do Get the Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor undoubtedly had one of the most entertaining rivalries of all time. The trash talking exchanges during the build up to their first fight at UFC 196 were hilarious and the two seemed like they were made to fight each other. So he put a frame out in front of him and I quickly snatched it and broke yeah, his right. wrist. You gotta scare a little chasey shot. Little your whole suit, my socks were wood more than your whole suit you had on your little thumb. <laughs> During the press conference for their rematch at UFC 202, there wasn't much trash talking going on between McGregor and Diaz. However, midway through the press conference, Nate decided to walk off the stage as his team, who happened to be sitting in the audience, gathered around and began shouting at McGregor. This then escalated when Nate decided to throw a bottle at McGregor, to which McGregor responded by grabbing soda cans and throwing them at Diaz and his team. It will be a trilogy fight down the line. It won't be straight away, but we will we will do it three times, 100%. 
The man just walked off. Your whole team. McGregor and Diaz <laughs> both away, and both ended up being fined for this incident. Number three, Julian Lane's meltdown on the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, don't touch that dude. Oh my God, that boy is. You know what I'm saying? Pause, but that boy is a, a mean looking dude. That boy is swole. That is a mean looking dude. Season 16 of The Ultimate Fighter is regarded by many people as being one of the worst seasons in the show's history. There wasn't many talented fighters in this season, and most of the fights were extremely boring. However, the one saving grace of this season that made it a bit entertaining was the house drama, as a fighter named Julian Lane had frequent violent outbursts throughout the season. Because I'll beat somebody's ass in this house, and I'll get sent home. That's a bad right now. His most infamous outburst happened after Let he me got see drunk it. and attempted to start a brawl with another fighter. When his friends held him back to prevent him from fighting, he began to throw a tantrum as he uttered a phrase that would go down in infamy. Let me bang, man. I want to do that, man. Let me bang, 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 bang. I do, lady bang. Let me bang again, man. I let you bang. Let me bang. I let you bang. Let me bang. Let me bang. Let me bang. Wait, what? I'm just so confused. Is he talking about like, let him bang? Or like, let me bang? You know what I'm saying? Is he talking about let me bang? Or let me bang? I'm very confused, but they just went from fighting to let me bang. Let me do that, man. Let me bang, bang, bang. I do bang. let you bang. Hey. Let me bang again, man. I let you bang. I let you bang. Let me bang again. Let me bang. <laughs> Number two, Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw. Can someone? I'm just trying to figure out exactly what just happened. What does he mean by "let me bang, bro"? Or like, someone give me some context. Uh, the Ultimate Fighter. Cody Garbrandt has one of the shortest tempers in MMA history and is no stranger to violent outbursts. His worst outbursts occurred during season 25 of The Ultimate Fighter, where he would compete as a coach against his former training partner, TJ Dillashaw. It stemmed from the fact that Dillashaw abandoned Team Alpha Male to train with his close friend and coach, Dwayne Ludwig. Garbrandt and all of Team Alpha Male felt that Dillashaw had betrayed the team that brought him into MMA. What further upset Garbrandt is the fact that he had previously defended Dillashaw years back when Conor McGregor accused him of being disloyal to his team. You shouldn't talk about TJ without saying something, boy. Boy, you gonna do something about it? You gonna do? I'll do something about it. Well, do something then. Do something then, you Do something then, you something But that's Conor McGregor. What are you gonna do? You'll do nothing, you little twerp, yeah? You'll do Take care of your underwears. I gonna you, man. Throughout season 25 what? of The Ultimate Fighter, what? Garbrandt and Dillashaw would argue frequently, and the arguments often escalated into violent outbursts from Garbrandt, as he couldn't keep his cool around Dillashaw. I was paying to be out there with Dwayne. You ass and you Yo, that boy want to fight everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov feud. <laughs> McGregor and Khabib undoubtedly had the most out of control rivalry in UFC history. Their whole feud began in New York when Khabib and his team decided to confront McGregor's close friend and training partner, Artem Lobov, for bad mouthing him in an interview. <laughs> 
и вышел и победил. В то время, когда Хабиб снимался уже шесть раз. Он снимается, у него там чуть-чуть заболело, у него там задница или еще где-то. Он снимается. Вес не может даже сделать. Хабиб и его команда начали окружать Лобов и требовать извинения за то, что он сказал. Лобов, now being face to face with Khabib, denied ever badmouthing him, which resulted in Khabib slapping Lobov in the face. <laughs> When McGregor caught wind of what had happened, he and his teammates decided to fly out to New York and get some payback. Let's go, baby! On April 5 of 2018, McGregor and his team showed up at the Barclays Center in New York, where multiple fighters, including Khabib, had just gotten done promoting the upcoming UFC event. As the fighters were leaving on a bus, McGregor and his team showed up and proceeded to attack the bus, banging on the windows and throwing anything they could find. McGregor ended up smashing the bus window with a steel dolly, hurting multiple fighters on the bus and causing them to have to pull out of the upcoming event. <laughs> McGregor was then fined and arrested for this incident, but was bailed out soon after. Later that year, McGregor would go on to fight Khabib at UFC 229 in a one-sided beating that McGregor ultimately lost. Khabib would then proceed to jump over the cage as he and his teammates would start a brawl with McGregor and his team as an act of revenge for the bus incident. Yo, I Man, I'm so y'all you can't you can't lie, bro. Y'all I wanted Connor McGregor to win this fight so bad versus Khabib. I wanted to see Connor beat Khabib so bad. That was the one fight that really I really wanted to see Connor get the dub on. The brawl was eventually broken up and everyone involved was escorted out of the arena. However, to this day, this undoubtedly remains as being the most out of control feud in the history hey, of the Hey, we love it, man. They brought they brought inter Conor McGregor, man, like him or hate him, man, did he bring some entertainment to the to the to the sport, bro. What the fluff is this video behind me, bro? craziest and then they shut there now moments might check that out but hey i hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure y'all like and subscribe if y'all are new to the crew shout out to this video let me know what you guys think was the best mma uh beef or whatever they call it and which one was your favorite i definitely think the connor was a good one i like the connor and nate dan connor just is one of the best trash talkers in the sport and really does know how to bring the entertainment with it i hope you guys like that Make sure y'all like and subscribe if y'all are new to the crew. And y'all have a fantastic day, man. Deuces.